Darwin, oh, every time I talk to you, there's something new or better, most or faster. And boy, around you, that's always a fun thing to watch. Going way back to the Mooney Mod days when you took uh, some really great little airplanes and turned them into fire breathers. It's fun to watch you now just continue to take some really interesting and sometimes eclectic airplanes and turn them into just absolute and utter monsters. So what's new in your world? I'll have to go back to what we've been doing. We have done 230 of the Mooney rocket conversions. We then certified the Malibu with the uh, turboprop engine, the PT-6 engine. We have done 252 of those so far. And we have the Bonanza that we're, we're looking at right here. We have 16 of them done right now. And we got certified with the Duke with two PT-6s. And we've done 18 of those. And our latest project is the P Baron with two of these dash PT-6-21 dash engines. It's quite a machine, but all of them are turboprops, uh, very reliable, uh, brand new from Pratt Whitney. Uh, we're pretty excited to put our customers in there. All together since we've started, we've done over 500 conversions since we started in 1990. I expect probably within the next year, year and a half, we'll have over 300 of the jet props done. And the little turbinaires are starting to take off right now, literally. I mean, we're starting to get more and more interest. And we're hoping to maybe get as high as maybe 25 or 30 in the next year and a half. Our P. Baron, we're expected to have it certified sometime next year. We already have about five people lined up for those. And it's quite an airplane. The P. Baron does uh, almost 300 knots cruise, uh, climbs at 4,500 foot of rate to climb. And uh, it's just an awesome airplane. But all the turboprop engines with the PT-6 are all awesome airplanes. Freedom through performance. At Cirrus, performance is not simply the measurement of a single design parameter. Rather, it's a total package. It's optimum balance of speed, efficiency, comfort, safety, ease of flight, and quality. We call it Cirrus Flying 2.0. Aren't you ready to feel the freedom? Well, let's go back to what, what uh, so far has really made your rep. The uh, taking the PA-46 line, updating it, and uh, shoehorning just a, an amazing amount of power into a really great thoroughbred airframe. What have you learned from that process? What are you learning from your customers? From the beginning when we did the conversion on the Malibu, we wanted to keep the Malibu as close to the, what the people already had for an airplane, but fix the problems. The PT-6 engine was the only engine that you could have that's fairly reliable, user-friendly, that people can operate and have some good longevity out of it. We found that the small engine, the Dash 21, Dash 35 engines, had the least amount of problems and actually fit the Malibu the best. We picked that engine. It's been a very awesome engine for the customers. They're getting between 260, 265 knots out of the airplanes. They climb at almost 3,000 feet of rate to climb. All the customers love the airplanes. Uh, like anything, they all wish they had more useful load and we're doing what we can to work on that. But over the years, we found the little glitches that you find in systems when you're putting them together. We've, we've corrected all of them. We make sure that all the customers have all those updates immediately. And by taking care of the customer, we found that we have a very dedicated customer base. You can ask any of our customers, they love the airplanes and they all will tell you that we take care of them. It's important that we take care of the customer because they're the ones that sell for us. And if there's any business that, de that is dependent on word of mouth more than yours, I'd like to know what it is. It's aviation, it's word of mouth, and that's where we get most of our sales today. So we're pretty excited about it. Now, going from there to such an iconic airframe as, as you know, the Bonanza, that's gotta be an interesting group to work with, and more important, I bet you're learning a lot from those airplanes. The Bonanza is a very stout, stout airplane. We picked the B36TC because it has the barren wings on it, the heavier landing gear, the longer wings, the more fuel, built-in auction systems. The engine on the B36, they were always getting quite hot, therefore the airplanes weren't worth very much or they were le worth less than they're really worth. By putting the turboprop on them, you have a six-place turbine bonanza that does 260 knots. 
climbs to 2,500 foot, a minute rate to climb. You're off the ground in 800 feet. It's an awesome airplane. You take even the Baron. The Baron has two motors, burns more fuel, only goes less than 200 knots. Uh, everybody would rather have two P one PT-6 than two piston-powered engines. And when people can get into these airplanes for less than $700,000, uh, it makes quite a package for people to have, but it's very docile. Uh, Beechcraft makes a fabulous airplane, and we're excited to take and put them on these airplanes. It's really a sleeper. People are a lot of people think you have to have a, a, a pressurized airplane for a turbine, but once they fly these things, they find that it's pretty neat just to have them on this airplane here. The beauty of the Release 9 system architecture is that you have two fully redundant integrated flight displays. Each has access to all the systems and data. Providing full redundancy and eliminating traditional reversionary modes, Release 9 allows either display to be configured as the PFD. Now your failure modes are much more manageable because you can continue to fly with the same familiar display symbology without the need to relearn composite modes you don't typically fly with. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is truly the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology. Darwin, finally, with with uh, with the Baron in your in your sights at this point, tell us what's happening with what's got to be the biggest badass Baron ever. <laughs> the Baron, it is kind of the best of both worlds. It's a small uh, size to Beechcraft. It's pressurized. It has the performance of one of the larger turboprops. Cruises close to 300 knots. Climbs at 4,500 foot a minute rate to climb. It's less than eight minutes to 25,000 feet. But it's so docile, nice handling. It has the Beechcraft handling qualities with two Pratt Whitney engines. By doing the conversion, we take off about 300 pounds off the, off the Baron. We add some more fuel to it. So even with the extra weight of the fuel, there's still almost 600 pounds of useful load in the airplane with two turbines on it. It's an awesome airplane. It's, it's a fun airplane to fly. It's kind of the ultimate uh, personal turboprop. Sounds like. We can't wait to see that in the, in the, in the air. That's got to be an amazing sight. It's fun. You'll be seeing it more and more this next year. Sounds like a plan. And finally, where do you go from here? We're always looking at what the industry needs. Uh, we haven't really decided yet of what there's several different directions we could go. We're kind of following the industry to see which, which direction it's going for what, what type of airplanes people want. Well, we wish you the best of luck, and I hope you'll keep us up to date as, uh, as things go along. And, and more important, we got to get out to Spokane and play with some of your toys. Love to have you. Come out and fly anytime. <laughs>